All right, my friend, I am going to show you my color theory or color workbook for primary students. So it is designed for primary students, teaching them about colors and color mixing. And it is a great resource to grab and have as one of your essential um, resources in your classroom if you are making art with primaries or littles, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to take a look in just a second at some of the pages that will be included in this that I love. They're a fabulous, they're fabulous templates for teaching color and color mixing to primaries. So nice and big, lots of space, um, mostly visual, and then you can use them as, use it as a workbook so you can pre uh, photocopy all of them into a workbook, uh, put it in duotains for kids. So that's especially great if you are, are on a cart and you're traveling to different classrooms, kids can just pull out those duotains and you're done prepping for a long time. It's also good for emergency uses. So for an art sub tub or emergency plans, you can use it if you're an art sub or if you just want to have worksheets that are like those essential worksheets like primary colors and identifying colors, uh, tints, tones, and shades, all that jazz is also included. So we're gonna do it in two ways. I'm gonna show you some of the printed pages that will be concluded in it and I'll be doing some of them with you. But also you can take a look at the second little clip that I'll be also showing in this video where I just do a screen recording and I'll go through every single page of the resource so you can see if it's a good fit for you in your classroom. Again, you can use it as book as a booklet with any art medium that you want. You are not limited to specific mediums. I encourage you to experiment with a range of mediums with your kids with these pages. Or you can also just use it as, you know, printing off one page at a time uh, to use it for other art lessons or to pair them with other um, things. So it's really up to you on how you use it, but it really provides you with lots of essential pages that you need to teach color with primaries. So let's dive on in and check them out. you can let kids design their own coloring page or title page for their booklet where they can draw a rainbow inspired picture and the second page they're going to color the crayons so it's all about uh, color identification and they can match their choice of art medium color to each of the crayons and color them in practicing both their coloring skills and color identification Next is um, primary colors. So again, the primary colors are colors that cannot be created by mixing other colors and they are red, blue, and yellow. So we're gonna color them in. And the fun thing about this tutorial or this uh, art project booklet is again, you can use any art mediums you want, whether it's paint, you can have them use wax crayon, oil pastel, felt markers, you let them play with whatever you would like them to, or each page maybe you focus on a different art making medium. So I'm using these, but you do not have to use paint. You can use whatever art making medium that you'd like. is the color wheel. I'm going to be using just wax crayons on this one and we're going to let kids blend with this. So one way we could do that is we can go ahead and color in all the primary colors. So yellow is a primary color. Red's a primary color.
blue's a primary color. Now you can do, go ahead and do the rest of these in two ways. You can fill in your secondary colors either by blending two colors together, so layering two wax crayons or whatever art making medium you want, or you can simply color in with a secondary color. So you can choose to do um, either one depending on the age of your students or what you have time for or how you would like to approach it, but you can definitely use it in two ways and feel free to experiment. I'm gonna show you what it would look like coloring it in two different uh, colors and lady ring, just wax crayons to make a new color. This is tint, tone, and shade. So a tint is green plus white, so they can color a leaf with green and white. And I'm gonna do this in wax crayons again. Then they're gonna do just the tone, so just green, and then green plus black. So we're gonna go ahead and learn about tints, tones, and shades. And we are going to color it in using our wax crayons to make a tint, a tone, and a shade. This is warm colors and cool colors, so kids can explore and experiment with some warm and cool colors on this flower, filling in each of them and layering them together. So you might have things such as red and yellow. So it's a color wheel with secondary colors, but showing how to mix them. So that would be red and yellow. And that would make orange, 
whereas beside it is just red and on the other side is yellow. And the fun thing is they also get to use just orange crayons or orange art making mediums to make a different version of something. So instead of just mixing, they get to do that as well to see the difference. And then this would be orange plus red, which would of course uh, make a tertiary color, which would be red orange. And then on this side, we go through the cool colors. So it's a great way to teach kids about cool colors and how they can even make some of them themselves. And they also have a warm color, cool color coloring sheet, things that we think about when that are cool colors and things that we think about when we think about warm colors. And they can use warm colors to color in the warm color thing, referencing the page they had previously done and same with the cool colors as well. And then here we get to mix colors. So I'm gonna show you just some of them, mixing with three different mediums. We're gonna do oil pastel first. So I'm gonna get a red oil pastel and color in this part red. So we're gonna go red. That would be yellow. And I'm gonna put some red here because we of course have to blend it together. And I need some yellow. So I color yellow. And then color it here to make a color. Okay, so it's all about mixing colors. We're gonna use a different, we're gonna use our wax crayons for the second and then we'll do paint on the third just as a lovely little example. So yellow and green. And then kids can see how that changes color and makes a different tertiary color, which is yellow green. And then finally we'll do mixing with paint just as an example. So we'll mix blue. See, and the great thing is that you can use whatever mediums you want on this booklet. Blue plus green. And then we mix it in the third box, mix, mix, mix. And we get a blue, green. Then kids can mix their own colors. Then they can draw things. So we have draw something that is red. They can draw something that is red. Draw something that is yellow. something that is blue. Okay, so we're reinforcing the colors and they're really thinking about identifying colors with things. They can also color and mix together complementary colors. Um, we also have a complementary color coloring page and then of course the value scales so they get a value scale and then they have to try and make their own and I'm going to do it just with a crayon
So this is really great for getting kids to really thinking about the pressure they apply to the paper, especially if they're a little bit older in primary, maybe they're in grade three or two. This would be a perfect activity. They can start thinking about how they can use their materials in many new and different ways, just like that. Another fun one is using value so they can use tints and tones um, to create rings of color. So we're gonna start off with our darkest blue in the background. And as we go towards the center, we're gonna, like we did with the value scale, press lighter and lighter and lighter until we get to a very light shade there with the silhouettes. of sea creatures all around. So we can imagine we're looking up from the ocean floor. So check it out. This is an awesome resource for a primary, especially in the beginning of the year or any time that you're wanting to introduce color uh, value and color mixing with your students. It's totally great for leaving for a sub. So if you have a sub coming in or maybe you are an art sub, it's a great tool to have on hand as it's always related to art and color value and color mixing. It's also a fun and easy to see format for a primary student, nice and big to allow them to move about in each of the spaces. Um, it's perfect to have in an art sub tub. So if you have an art sub tub or a sub tub in your classroom and you just wanna have emergency lessons, if you are unexpectedly sick, this is a great option to have. Or if you are, again, this will, Take, save a lot of planning time for you through the year, right? Because it takes a bit of time to go through it for if you are somebody who's younger. So just having this on hand as the resource that you're using in your classroom and just going through it um, on, either as a booklet or individual um, worksheets is a great option to have. If you're art on a cart, this is a, again a great tool because everybody could have their own duotain. They can be stored in their own classrooms and if you're visiting the classrooms to teach, they pull out all their art booklets and you get set on this. That way you're prepped for a while. You're not having to prep for the next day. You photocopy the whole booklet and you are ready to go. So check it out. All about color for a primary level. Again, great way to learn about which each color is. So color identification, your primary colors, creating a color wheel, mixing colors, your tints, tones, and shades, warm and cool colors. Uh, mixing their own colors and so much more. So check it out and let's check out the all the pages now in the book booklet. So here we go. this art resource and you want to get it, make sure you head on, into the, head on into the description of this video. Click that link in the description for my Teachers Pay Teachers store. That is where you can grab it. Or if you're a member of the Artastic Collective, it'll also be provided to you in the themes bundle, in the essentials bundle. So make sure you check it out. It is fabulous. Grab it right now. Head on over to that description. Do, 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 do. Link in this video description and let's make some art.